All right, in this video, we're going to look at four examples of dividing without a calculator. Um, you see two different ways that we're writing division in these uh, four examples. The way using the division symbol, a line between two dots, and then your long division setup. And uh, when it's written like this, the second number is the number you put on the outside, and then your 699 goes on the inside. And uh, don't get too confused about the divisor, dividend, and stuff like that. People often confuse those terms, but the answer we're looking for is the quotient. And to do this, when you have a one-digit number right here, you just want to see how many times 3 goes into that first number. 3 goes into 6 two times. And then you multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. And we always subtract whatever we get when we come back and multiply. So we subtract, we get 0. Let's bring down the next number, 9. Now we look at how many times 3 goes into this number. 3 goes into 9 3 times. We again take this number times this number. 3 times 3 gives us 9. We subtract again. We get 0. And let's bring down our last number. 9. So now we're looking way down here. 3 goes into 9 3 times. And then we take 3 times 3. We get 9. We have nothing else to use, so we have a remainder of 0. So our answer is 233. I'll put it right here. Now, sometimes we do have remainders. Um, and I'm going to show you an example here. Also, what you want to take note is, if 8 will not go into 4, and it definitely does not, we want to consider 41 instead of just 4. So 8 goes into 41 5 times because 5 times 8 is 40. Yes, we have something left over. 41 minus 40 is 1. Bring down your 3. 8 goes into 13 one time. We take 1 times 8. We get 8. Subtracting, we have 5. And now we take, uh, obviously, well, we got to bring down our 9. And now figure out how many times 8 goes into 59. It goes into 59 7 times. 8 times 7 is 56 subtract and we have three now for right now in this part of the math course uh, we're not going to add on any decimals yet we're just going to say that our answer is 517 with the remainder of three we're not going to add anything else because some of you might be thinking well can't we keep on adding some decimals yes we can but for right now let's just leave it like this 517 remainder three all right this third example 9 goes into 9 one time. 1 times 9 is 9. Let's subtract it. We have 0. Now here's another little thing to be careful with. When we bring down the 1, 9 will go into 1 0 times. If 9 will not, or if that number out here does not go into that number, you have to put a 0 up there. And when we do that, we can now bring down the second number. So 9 goes into 11 one time. 1 times 9 is 9, and now we take 11 minus 9, giving us 2, bring down our 0, 9 goes into 20, 2 times, 2 times 9 is 18, subtract, and we have a remainder of 2. Again, we don't want to add on a decimal or anything else just yet. And now this last one. Um, we have a two-digit number on the outside. So we want to look at at least two digits over here. So 20 definitely won't go into 5. That's why you want to go ahead and look at at least two digits. 20 goes into 57 two times because two times, four, uh, two times 20 is 40. We subtract and we have 17 left over. Now bring down our 9. We almost have 180. If we had 180, 20 would go into 189 times. But uh, we don't have 180. 20 will go into 179 eight times because 8 times 20 is 160. Subtract, we have a remainder of 19. Let's bring down our 8. 20 goes into 198 almost 10 times because 20 times 10 is 200, but we don't quite have 200. So 20 will go into 198 nine times. 
because 9 times 20 is 180. Subtract, we have a remainder of 18. And I guess I'll just I'll squeeze it right there. So our answer there is 289 remainder 18. Now, we've done four quick examples, but I do want to show you what this remainder means. Now, going back to the first example, when we did not have a remainder, cut the kitchen light off. Hang on one second. See the air conditioner vent? <laughs> Alright, so let's go back to this first example. What you should be able to do every time is the two numbers on the outside, you should be able to multiply these to get the inside number. For example, if we take 233 times 3, and I'm just going to use the calculator here to show you, if we multiply 233 times 3, can you see that? 233 times 3 does give you 699, so that works. And the reason why this does work is because multiplication and division work inversely of each other. And you'll look at that further when you go to solve equations. All right, this next problem. Take the outside numbers, 517 times 8. Let's do that real quick. And notice we get 4,136. The remainder of 3 means you want to add 3 to that number. And notice we do get that inside number, 4,139. All right, let's move over here to the next one. <clears throat> let's multiply the outside numbers, 9 times 1,012. I just dropped, you hear it? <laughs> 9 times 1,012. We get 9,108, which is not that number, but since your remainder is 2, add 2 to that number, and now notice you do have 9,110. And the last one, take your two numbers on the outside and multiply them together. 20 times 289. We get 5,780, and if we add our remainder of 18 to that number, we get 5,798 just to show you what those remainders mean. And one more thing to take note of, if at any point when you're subtracting here, if you ever, like when we subtracted and we got uh, one, and when we subtracted here we got five, and all those things like that, notice those numbers we get when we subtract, we always get a number smaller than what we are dividing by. That's very important. Um, if that doesn't work out, you're not uh, dividing that number enough or our remainder of 18. You always want your remainders, remainder of 18, remainder of 2, remainder of 3. Um, you want these remainders to be smaller than the number you're dividing by. And um, I'll point those out in class too because that does oftentimes happen because your times tables might be a little weak on those and you might not exactly multiply by enough to take care of that. But uh, anyway, for examples without a calculator, and I hope that helped.